many people have been asking me if it was possible to you know edit and color grade their pictures with davinci resolve and that is just you know what i did with my birthday picture this was my birthday you know this was my this is this is a portrait picture from my birthday picture for you know year 2024 and you know i can tell you categorically that the way i did this it all started with you know i used a drone to take the picture and this is the before and this is after after i was done color grading my you know image let me come to my edit panel you will see that this particular image is in dng, DNG format you know i took the picture with my drone and of course if it was a photographer that had shot me you would have arrived at the same results so in this tutorial i will show you how you can edit and make your you know pictures to be stunning you know just by working in davinci resolve all of those pictures were graded in davinci resolve and i am very excited at the results i achieved that so if you're with your system right now i advise that you should open your system so that we can come directly and work you know and edit this so the first thing i would like to tell you which i usually would tell people is just to show you my color management tab and which are right now i am working under davinci yrgb color manage so yours might be under davinci yrgb of course the best that i usually would advise just for some projects is you know davinci yrgb color managed and the reason is just that it gives you a larger color space to you know work with and you can see i transformed all my pictures with just you know four nodes so now this is the flat file and then now you can make four nodes there was no parallel node there was no nodes and you know this this was this was shot around maybe past five at the beach you know here in lagos nigeria and this was just you know what i did i would disable all the nodes so the first thing i did was to create a node to you know reduce my noise i actually have a you know third party noise reducer but i didn't like the effect it had on my picture you know it lost a whole lot of quality so this was the flat file and then after i added the noise node which is what you can do from your motion effects i changed the frames to three and then my temporary threshold and then i unlink my spatial threshold all of these things i have taught in the past tutorials should in case you have not seen that i would advise that you should see that particular video and then you know after that i added sharpness to the image because when you reduce noise from an image it usually would introduce a level of blur in the image so i just reduced my blur here so that my image can become sharper i know that is just what the noise did here you can see before and then after so after which and for this i didn't use any cst you do not need to use any cst my image was in you know dng your picture could be in dot cr2 your picture could be in dot nef for nikon your picture could be in any format that camera uses and then the next thing i did was just to make a note you know for my adjustment so and which i did you know in a way that was very very subtle so i just created a mask around you know the water and then which i inverted so this node basically enhanced only worked for the water so it is just like you know i came here to this window and then i draw a shape round you know these blocks just to separate it from the water and then when i was working on the water i reduced my lead to control my shadow i reduced my shadow i reduced my gain as well so that the water can give me this cinematic feel after which i now came to which after which i now came to my heel versus sat i raised my red up a bit so that it can help this orange that you know i am currently seeing here seeing here and you know that gave the orange feel the glowing water a, a kind of life that was very interesting so after that i worked on my hue versus luminance my hue versus luminance actually helped me you know to change the hue to change the level of the light that is hitting the water and this makes the water to be very moody and then i came to my blues here which are the colors that are here and then i raised them up so that this water can just be you know brighter enough while the main subject which is myself in this picture i am still very dark so i made another node the outside node you know just to increase the brightness on myself after i had come here i gave this contrast and then i made another node entirely so which is meant to increase the brightness on the subject and you know 
I draw a window panel around myself and then I came to you know my lifts I reduce the shadow and then I increase the gamma so that I can be properly litted this is before and this is after so which is very very awesome so many people texted me that the image is so nice and you know that is just why I feel like I could make a tutorial on it so that we can just learn this stick so this is just like my birthday bonus for everyone who wants to be color grading images in davinci resolve trust me whatever raw format you are bringing in davinci resolve is ready is welcoming them with an open hands i'm not an ambassador but i've just been able to know the difference between color grading in lightroom versus you know color grading images in davinci resolve and another thing is if you want to add saturation slider you know compared to what you would do in in lightroom whereby your saturation once it gets to 100 that is the limit now or at times if you now want to still add it you will need to export that then come back again and add another level of saturation to whatever you want to do as long as you can add as many nodes as you want davinci resolve gives you that opportunity to add as much as colors you want you could still choose to you know push this to 100 you could create you know you can even still come to your color boost raise your color boost that's if you want to really spoil the image i'm just of course i won't do this i'm just telling you that you can add as much as slider you want you know of course this my image is now very wrong if i should go to my parade i can see what is happening in my colors already so of course i will not do that i'm just showing you that davinci resolve allows you to you know have extra you can do extra you know on your project and then the last thing i did was to now come to i used the answer for this and trust me you don't have to use the answer it was because i edited the picture very late you know in my the answer i came to use uh i didn't use film grain i unchecked every of the menu that they have here and then because i needed this bloom effect which would just be making the water to be shiny you know you can see it directly from my parrot the way the way the, the 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 way it is the way it is moving so i added you know bloom effect which is like glow i didn't use vignette and another thing i added is just you know alation here you can see alation is what empowered like really brought out red and you can see it if i from every part of this block you'll be seeing the alation even around me you're seeing alation already so I think that's just now and like i said if you do not want to do this i'll uncheck this node and i would you know make a node after this so i would come to my glow effect you can you know davinci has a free plugin for all of these things the first one is glow and then i will add another node you know and i would name it alation so before alation all right so you know look at the way i've been able to you know do what this if i even that's just even automatically before after and of course you know you still need to reduce the brightness of the glow do this do that i've made tutorials on this so if you have not seen them i would just advise you see those previous videos but for this particular one i'll be leaving it on the answer because the answer just made it simpler for me to do it you know in a shorter time and i found it faster and the last thing that i'll be sharing is how to export image people have been thinking okay an image is just meant to be a steel like that's just a frame so but how do i export which is very very simple once you come to your deliver you know page then um from here you will see custom export under your custom export you will just come to you know give your picture the name you want to give it select your location and then you are going to click on single clip which automatically choose it and then the format you would have to export or let me say originally you might be seeing h264 here you might be seeing mp4 you'll be seeing quick time for pictures that i i have used that i see that it retains good quality it's just like when you are exporting picture you know from photoshop and you want to take it to another application it usually will give you this format tiff and that is the same thing i picked then i would leave it on 8 bits and then you know whatever format you want it to be i would advise that you should just leave it on the format that the resolution of your timeline is and then add it to the queue once you are adding it to the queue of course i've exported some before let me 
clear all of this if i'm adding it so what you now want to do is to now reduce your image to whatever you want to export should just be one frame so you can you know check in you can cut in here and then the next frame you are going to cut out of course there are many other ways to do this but this just works faster instead of coming to your timeline or your clip to be editing your clips one by one no i i think you can just cut by one frame and then you click add to render so once i click on render now it will just render just one frame for me and you know if i should go to the folder that i will or the folder that i have exported to i'll be seeing my you know image right now which is just going to be as one frame and that is just how i color graded this image so thank you for watching this tutorial so thank you i hope you have found value for your time if you do please ensure you like this video and you subscribe to the youtube channel so that you can always get notification for my future posts and if you are new to davinci resolve you do not know anything about davinci resolve our advice that you should watch there's two videos and this one playlist showing on your screen right now and i'll see you some other time bye